Hi everyone, my name is Jose Francisco Martinez, you can call me Paco, and this week is my turn to present to you for the current events presentation. I want to talk about a scandal in the sports, specific uh, the baseball industry, and it's the Houston Astros cheating scandal. Um, to give you a little bit of background on it, uh, the Houston Astros, they, they were able to find out and were smart enough to look into how catchers were uh, sending signals to their pitchers so that they could relay these back to their batters. Uh, Alex Cora, the former bench coach of the Astros at, in 2017, uh, set up a system where a camera in the center field would point at the catcher's uh, signals and then that signal would be relayed to the Astros dugout. The Astros would then uh, be able to translate those signals and would then relay the signal to the batter through a trash can so the batter would know what pitch to expect. Uh, this obviously was a good strategy since uh, batters already knew what was up. They had amazing batting average in that season. Um, it is very important to signal that uh, leadership within the Astros was aware of this scheme and they approved of it, uh, and that is the general manager, uh, A.J. Hinch, and their, uh, and their general manager as an organization, Jeff Honlow. Um, 2017, obviously Astros win the World Series, and there is a little bit of suspicion from other teams like the Dodgers and Yankees who were on the playoffs about their attitudes and what they were up to. In um, 2018, the head coach for um, the Astros moved to the Boston Red Sox and there is a speculation that he also took this scheme to the Boston Red Sox since the Red Sox won approximately 70% of their games and they became World Series champions for 2018. Um, it is no surprise that on 2018 the Astros also were there for the playoffs and did an amazing uh, season. Uh, but really, what we really care about is uh, 2019, when the Houston Astros lost the World Series again to Washington Nationals. And although it was a very good season for the Astros because they were cheating, um, what happened after the World Series is that four former Astros from the 2017 team came forward and spoke up about the cheating scandal. This was a big deal and uh, MLB during 2020 made, launched an investigation where they realized of that Astros did indeed cheat in 2017 and were using that uh, very often. Uh, the result of this was the general manager and uh, man the, the coach or manager from the Astros were fired from the organization and they were banned from MLB for a year, any type of activity. Alex Cora, who by then was uh, the manager for the Boston Red Sox, was also fired. And a former player, Carlos Beltran, uh, who had just become a manager for the Mets, was also fired. So there was a lot of consequences, but the important thing is because uh, the players came to an agreement to come forward with MLB, they didn't receive any punishment, which some people see as unfair, since they were aware of what they were doing and they did it anyway. Um, so now that I've given you the situation, I want to talk about the analysis and what I think it's a good thing, what do you think it's a bad thing, and I would also like to hear your thoughts in the comments. So for me, there are lessons to be learned, and the good lessons to be learned is that the Astros leadership team was spectacular between 2017 and 2019. Uh, if we, of course, ignore the cheating scheme. Uh, the Astros organization was on board totally with this scheme. They were motivated, they were inspired, they were trying to become uh, stars, they were trying to become the next Yankees. They wanted people to know what their uh, goals were, people trusted them, uh, they were faces that were used for MLB as role models, so I think they were very smart in how they used all these strategies to become leaders within the industry. Um, the other good thing that I see, and uh, 
I'm just learning this from this week's model. Um, I didn't see any dysfunctions within the Astros team. They didn't show lack of commitment, lack of accountability. They were trusting of each other. It was really, really too good to be true. And um, it turns out it was because of the cheating. Um, and another good thing I see about the situation is how, how the conflict, rather than generate, I mean, it did generate a lot of backlash to MLB. Um, but it did empower players to come forward and signal issues within their teams. Uh, baseball players are known for being very stiff and very quiet. They don't give out their opinions, but uh, this this scandal has given the power to other players like Mike Trout, uh, Clayton Kershaw, to speak about the cheating scheme and how that affected them. Um, I think this is a good thing, and the conflict has escalated in such a way that players are more empowered and are becoming more leaders in the baseball game. Um, what I can see and learn on the bad side, it's uh, the Astros were very selfish in their cheating scheme and they didn't realize the ripple effect that their actions would have. And I'm just not talking about what they, it would happen to them, but they didn't realize that their actions would affect a lot of uh, aspiring pitchers for major leagues because they were not fair to them. Um, it also did damage the image of baseball all around the world. People don't trust baseball because now people think everybody is cheating. And the other thing is, and the last thing that I would like to point out about the lessons that I learned, it's that after all this, the whole scheme was discovered, the cheating Astros had not been very accountable. They don't realize the damage they've done and they've been very quiet. They haven't shown any remorse. So that's something that leaders can do. Uh, leaders need to be able to recognize their mistakes and move forward. Um, so this raises the question for this week. Um, I'm having two of them, and the first of, of them would be what strategy would the Astros need to follow after the scandal to become the leaders they were previously considered? And I'm speaking if it could be erased. And the second question I would have for you guys is, do you think this scandal is good for the MLB? Is Do you think this conflict actually improved a major dysfunction in the MLB structure? And I thank you guys for listening to me and I hope to see uh, to see your comments and I will respond them soon. Have a good night.